Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I made this sci-fi sliced up looking title reveal in After Effects without any plugins. So let's begin. So in After Effects, I created a new comp with 1920 by 1080p, 24 FPS, 5 seconds long and named it placeholder. This is the comp where we're gonna put our texts, logos or whatever we want to get affected by this effect. For this example, I created a text, sized it and centered it. After this, I created a new comp with same dimension and time and named it map. I created a white solid and renamed it box and added a block dissolve by going effect, transition, block dissolve. I animated the transition completion from 100 to 0, changed the block width to around 300 and the block height to 30, feather to 0 and uncheck soft edges. That gives us this look where these blocks are filling the composition randomly. But they are all at the same place. I wanted them to move from left to right while they were filling this comp. For that I added an offset effect by going effect distort offset. I animated the shift center from left to right and now if we take a ramp preview we can see the map is moving from left to right. After this I rotate the layer and animated its scale property so we get this angular reveal. I selected all of the keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease them, went into the graph editor and started adjusting all of their speed graph so the animation starts fast and slowly settle into place. And this is how it looked. I created another new comp with same dimension and time and named it build. I dragged the placeholder and the map comp into this composition. I used the map comp as a alpha mat for the placeholder and that gives us this reveal. After this I added an adjustment layer and renamed it displace and added the displacement map effect by going effect distort displacement map. As a displacement map layer I chose the map composition, changed the horizontal displacement to alpha and turned the vertical displacement to off. I animated the horizontal displacement from 100 to 0. After that I selected both of the keyframes and easy ease them by hitting F9 and adjusted the speed graph to make it look more dynamic. I created another comp, again same dimension and time and named it final build. I dropped the build comp into this composition and added the following effects by going effect, stylize, find edges and an invert effect by going effect channel invert. So we end up with this stroke effect. Now if we take a closer look we can see it's not transparent at all. We need to remove all this fill color inside so we can composite this in a much more easy way into our animation. The most easy way to remove it will be to key it out. So I went to effect keying linear key light. I keyed the black out and then played with the matching tolerance and softness to get it where I liked it. I threw in a Gaussian blur and blurred it around 5 pixel and then added a level effect, changed the channel to alpha and started messing with the alpha input black and white to get some of that crispiness back into the lines and this is how it looked. I also added a fill effect and changed it to white. After this I animated the scale property of this comp to get a snap zoom in effect on the title. I renamed this comp build line. I duplicated this comp, deleted all the effects other than the fill and renamed it to build color. I changed the fill color on this comp and duplicated it couple more times and made sure to change the fill to a different one each time. Then I offsetted all of these fill layers in the timeline to get a nice cascading animation with the rest of the comp. Once I was happy with the animation, 
I selected the last three comps in the timeline and animated their opacity from 100 to 0. So in the end when they cascade there aren't any edges poking out. Finally, I added an adjustment layer, renamed it Glow and added some glows. I adjusted the threshold, radius and intensity to get a nice soft bloomish glow overall and also threw in another adjustment layer with some noise, 10% to be exact, to tie everything nicely. And that's it, that concludes this tutorial. So as you can see, it's a completely procedural effect. So if you go into the placeholder comp and change any of the text or logos, everything will be updated in the final composition. So from this point onward, it's all into your hand. So get that free project file in the description and start experimenting with different looks and effects to truly customize this to your need. If you like this tutorial, check this playlist to see more title animation like this. Make sure to give this video a like and share your thoughts down in the comments and do subscribe for more motion graphics tutorial. Take care of yourself and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye guys.